Sighthype.com, Sean Zatel here with Mickey Bay, top trainer in the sport, former lightweight champion of the world. Hey, Mick, man, just want to get your insights on the big fights next weekend, the Charlo brothers. Uh, you know, first with Charlo and Derevyanchenko, what do you think of that fight? Um, man, that's, that's, that might be the best matchup I've seen since the whole pandemic. I mean, it's the best fight. Um, it's gonna be a good fight. I think it's gonna go 12 rounds. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody hit the mat. I don't see it being a knockout, but I think it's gonna be, you know, both of those guys, um, they both can box, but they both like, they both kind of stationary a little bit, so it's gonna be a good fight. Both of them like the bomb, throw bombs, they both got power, they both, um, Dude is real accurate, uh, Dermachenko. Uh, he's smart, he pick his shot. Charlo is long, he got the reach advantage. I think he's probably the better boxer on the outside. Uh, man, that's gonna be a good fight. I'm gonna definitely be watching it. You think that um, Derevianchenko being a, a, an aggressive guy at times, that's gonna give Charlo a chance to land a, a counter punch? Yeah, a bomb, but, like, but like J, like he, the J Rock he might shot. it up though. You never know how you gonna come in, how you gonna come at him, but it also per, could present problems because um, either one of them like to back up. Right. Both, they both the ones that used to, to go on four. So to me, neither one of them like to go backwards. So um, that might cause a problem for both of them because, but that's what makes for a great fight. None of them giving no, neither one of them won't want to let the other one dictate the ring. I'm sure they gonna be both all night going mm -hmm. at each other so man it's gonna be a good fight it could possibly i think it's probably the best fight since the um pandemic does it benefit derevianchenko at all that the last year or two he's been able to to get in the ring with golovkin and jacobs while uh jamal hasn't been able to, to have that kind of competition yeah, yeah. Lately. That, that's an advantage for sure because you know, a lot of people thought he could have got the decision versus um golovkin versus golovkin right. and golovkin we know he's an animal so um I'm looking forward to it, man. It's one of them fights the worst. It could be a coin toss. What if you had to go either way? Either way. I haven't seen a lot of Dermachenko, so it's hard to, to dictate it, but... You just saw the I, Jacobs and Triple G fights? Yeah, yeah. I've seen the highlights. Uh, I've seen, like, the highlights of Jacobs fight with him, but I think it's one of them fights that damn near could be a draw to where at the end you could say this guy won and I think that guy won. One of them type fights. I think it could be like a drawage type fight. And I know these dudes have moved up. Like Canelo's all been all the way to 75. Jacobs is at 68. Golovkin's at 68. But how does Jamal stack up with those guys? Where does he fit in? At 160. Even if he goes 68. up to 68, yeah. Oh, he's stacked and, up. I can see him beating most of the 68s. Uh, the other one that, you know, I think dude is better be that is going to be a problem for anybody. You know, he'd be a problem because he's so big, but um, if he can make even weight, though they yeah. say he went up and he say he's going back down. Right, um, right. Other than that, I see him doing real good at 68. Um, you know, we seen when fighters go up, sometimes they got the speed advantage and, and stuff like that. So I think he'd be good at super middleweight. How do you think a fight with him and Canelo would have gone if they if they would have fought at 60 last year? That's the fight that should happen to right. me. It's either Canelo and him or either Canelo or Benavidez or um, some fight like that or even Dermachenko you know Canelo would be a great fight uh, you know you got uh, Caleb Plant he could fight Canelo those you know the fights that you know I would like to see Canelo in but um do you think Maul would have Jamal would have pulled it off against Canelo or or man, still can if I they like them cats man you know I knew if they were 15-16 I used to spar with them all this, I just sparred hundreds of rounds. Damn, you sparred with the Charlos? Yeah, because I was older and more experienced, and they was bigger, and so they was just turning pro and was amateur. So I was able to, you know, that was kind of like my advantage was the experience, and theirs was the size advantage. So were they explosive back then too? Yeah, yeah, they, they always could fight. I was down in Houston, yeah, and used to spar with them a whole lot. But um, you say him and Canelo? Yeah. Uh, I think uh, Charlo just needs a little better opposition before he go into that just to give himself a better advantage because may, now after this fight, he beat this dude, yeah, he ready, I'm ready for it. If he beat this guy, I'm ready for it because sometimes you get, you, 
get black fight that weak competition. You get in with a beast. And then, you know, that's why I think Lumachenko lost his, his, to uh, Salido. He was an amateur. That's different. I don't care how many wins you got. And he beat the other kid, and he fought a real pro. And Salido, and Salido got him. But it's another ball game. And what, he had 11, 12 losses or something like that. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what, what Charlo need is he get past this guy. Oh, that's the fight. Go, Him and uh, Canelo should be next year for sure mm -hmm. if he beat this guy. And then uh, Jermel, the younger brother, he's trying to unify. Was it even back to when you were when you got to work with them when they were young? Yeah. Were they different? Are they is there are they different yeah, fighters? They definitely didn't hit as hard when they were young. Right. Because I, I wouldn't have got in there. Keep they throwing now. I don't know if I'd have got in there. But. Have they always had a stylistic differences, yeah, they, or does it feel like it's well, the same? They still kind of had the same style, right? But they weren't hitting as hard because you know I was. You know, they was teen. They was like teenage, twenty years old, eighteen years old, seventeen. They was young, so you know, I, I was older than them. So, um, but they always could fight, man. They always had skin. They always worked hard. Both of them, man. Ain't they? They was both in the gym all the time, working hard, wanting to learn, and that's why they like sparring with me a lot. But they like, man, you know, we just it's a chess match. You know, they learn. And, Right. I see you, Coach Ben. Yeah, man. Um, they always wanted to be, they always wanted to spar to get better. They always wanted to get better. So were they always turned up? Not as much as now. Yeah. You know, sometimes you know that bag, that bag now, that bag will turn you up even more. You know, they both got the bag. So and the belts, right? Yeah, they got the belts. The belts have you feel bag, good too? So, yeah, they, they <laughs> earned. You know, they earned the right to you know be able to. Um, Kind of, you know, turn up a little bit. Mm -hmm. But yeah, but to answer your question, man, they always could fight for sure. Do you, how do you see Jermel's fight going with Rosario? He's oh, trying to see, unify. Now he might stop him. I think he might stop uh, Rosario. Why is that? Some just telling me. Nah, nah, I ain't seen dude enough. I seen him fight J Rock, and I seen one more fight, I think. Um, he can punch, but that's not the style to really beat Charlo. Like, Charlo got a, a, a granite chin, and he's strong. He got skills too. I, I think that that one, unless this kid got an iron chin, I, I don't really know. But anybody can be stopped, chin or not. If you get hit right or you fight the wrong way, you can get caught. If it'd if it be a stoppage, I think it'd be in that fight. Now, now the other control, though, I think it'll go to distance. But this fight, it could possibly be a knockout. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if it's a knockout. When, when a tall guy, because I know Rosario likes to throw power shots, he, he'll yeah. throw bombs. But when you're tall and long like that, does that give a, a guy like Charlo opportunities to get underneath that? Well, it and, depends and, what kind of shots you throw. Uh -huh. Because um, Hearns do, do some heat, but he threw it the right way. It was explosive, it was fast. He was 6'1 at Welch. And it was down two. the middle, right? Yeah, so yeah. if you throw them looping shots, you do that against Charlo, then it'd probably be an early night. Mm. But that kid could fight too, so at the same time, Charlo Charlo got to be careful, but they both kind of throw like big shots. Right. Neither one of them really shoot a lot of straight shots like that. But, but, um, but Charlo is dangerous when you fight that way. You try to put heat on him, he end up getting. It. So you you would advise a guy try to box. Oh, a guy yeah. like don't don't. Yeah. Oh, a hundred percent. Like you know, um, you know, we seen him fight uh, Tony. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's an excellent boxer. So he box, box, box. You slow down, play with him, or try to sit in there with him. All to take is one shot for Charlo. He could be down in the fight. He get that one in, it's over. Same as that guy, though, uh, Rosario. Yeah. Can't play with him. He hungry. He, he just be the excellent fighter in J Rock. So his confidence is up. And he know if he win his fight, he gonna be on the mountaintop. He could he could probably move up and get a fight with Canelo. So everybody want that sweet state. So he gonna come, he come to win for sure. And what was crazy about Jermel in that last fight when he dropped Harrison, he actually ate a shot, right? Like him. nothing. Yeah. And, and yeah. But so. I don't think he gonna do that against him. Right. Do the bigger puncher. Right. Uh, I think Tony got a lot more skills than Rosario. Styles make fights, man. Um, you can never look at it like this guy beat that guy, so that guy can beat this guy. Somebody can wake up on the wrong side of the bed. You have a bad night. Everybody have bad nights. Um, so. But Charlo is just one of them guys that, man, you know, you sit in with him and, you know, you're you going to have a long night.
you and your brother Cortez gonna have a fight night party on the 26th for those fights? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He'd probably be back in town for that. Okay. Yeah, he might be back in town. Yeah, I, I definitely will. Matter of fact, yeah, I am for sure. Yeah, yeah so you're gonna have to come through. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you, Mickey. Oh, yeah. Appreciate you, man.